Hi, this is Big Geek and I'm Dan. Just a quick video uh, in response to Colin McKenzie who put a question on one of my other videos about the VFD that I have and how I control it from my X-Pro CNC. Uh, so just a quick look at how that's done. If we look down here, this is the VFD. They all look basically the same if you look at any of these sort of uh, Chinese spindles and VFDs. Uh, this is the right way up, but if we turn around, So these are the terminal rows that exist, uh, and I have wired into ACM and V1. I can't remember what ACM stands for, that's basically the ground wire, and then V1 is uh, used to send basically the positive voltage. Then at the other end of that, on the X-Pro, so on the X-Pro we have this set of terminals at the end, uh, there's a ground around about the middle and then there's a spindle control so that's where those terminate on the other side so on the VFE control menus you have the ability if you look through the manual to tell it uh, that it's going to get spindle control and I think the options allow you to tell it what voltage range it should expect as control so I think I have mine set between uh, to expect between 0 and 5 volts <coughs> Then in the XPRO software, uh, you've got a bunch of settings, one of which is spindle RPM uh, minimum and maximum, and pretty much this just controls uh, how, it, how it deals with the range of voltages. So I just tuned this maximum up and down until it seemed like when I set a particular spindle speed on the machine, that's exactly what I got on the VFD. So when you power on the VFD, it comes into this state, uh, zero everything, press the green button and you hear a click that's the relay run connecting so that technically it's now powered but the spindle speed is zero <clears throat> with that connected we can then come into uh, come into the control we can select what spindle speed we want get it nice and slow hit go and then you can hear that's the spindle starting up and I can literally drag that down, that's like 400 RPM about the slowest I can get it going but I can drag it all the way up 10,000 you think this is 10,000 here and the spindle reporting can turn 700 so it's a little bit off, just slightly off. So the calibration isn't like perfect, but it's close enough to be very, very useful and I'm going going close enough for my for my needs. Anyway, I uh, hope that was helpful to somebody. Uh, Colin, let me know if you have any other trouble. Uh, thanks for watching, see you next time.